Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Samsung Galaxy E5 with me which is a mid-range Android device and in this uh, review we'll be doing the gaming review and uh, first let me give you a configuration overview using the CPU-Z application and uh, as you can see it is powered by a Snapdragon 410 chipset which is based on the ARM Cortex A53 architecture it is a 64-bit enabled uh, device with quad-core processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz regarding the GPU it's the Adreno 306 GPU and it sports a 5-inch screen which is a Super AMOLED 720p HD screen and regarding RAM it has 1.5 gigs of RAM the battery is sealed inside and it's a 2400 mAh battery and I'm still testing this device but I have been using this device for the last couple of days and the battery life seems to be pretty good and these are the sensors just the basic sensors are provided so let's quickly do some gaming and uh, we'll start with some casual games and quickly move to heavy games so this is dead trigger 2 and uh, we'll also play one more level on this I don't recall I must be on the seventh or eighth level on this dead trigger 2 and I would say it runs this game actually very well without any issues as you can see So as you can see it is playing this one actually very well so let's move to the next level and see how it handles it so continuing with dead trigger this is the next level and as you can see it runs it actually very well and also the super amlet screen that is provided on this device the quality is very good i have no issues with that So as you can see, it runs this game actually really well without any issues. So you'll have a good experience. So let's move out of this dead trigger too. And let's move to some heavier games now. And this is Asphalt 8, but let's go to the graphics settings. And as you can see, it's on the medium graphics settings. I'll keep the volume at high, but we'll set it on high and then play it. So we'll be playing this Nirvana 11 and also I have this heat gun. Later on after playing this game we'll check the temperatures to see if it's heating or not. And I'm using the on-screen steering and do remember that we are at the highest graphics setting. And I noticed some frame drops. Yes, there are some frame drops at this highest graphic setting. But in terms of playability, it is very much playable, I would say. But you will notice some frame drops at this highest graphic setting. And in terms of playability, I would say it's playing it very well. But there is some frame drops at times. So you might notice minor lag at this highest graphics setting. For the next level, we'll keep it on the default medium graphics setting. And let's see how it handles it. So playing this another level uh, and now we are at the what do you say uh, default medium graphics setting and regarding the heat uh, we'll check the temperatures later on but the phone uh, is not heating up I am not feeling any heat as you can see doing the drift oh. 
and as you can see it is running it actually very well i would say even at the highest graphics setting it was running it uh, fairly well but those minor frame drops that we were seeing on the highest graphics settings i don't see it now so as you can see it is running this uh, level very well so we can conclude that uh, you'll have a very good experience playing uh, games like asphalt 8 on this galaxy e5 device and um, it's been over 14 minutes since we were gaming uh, so let's look at the temperatures also let me bring my infrared heat card and as you can see it's just around 37 degrees to max of 38 uh, it registered here near the screen and near the earpiece it's about 38.5 let's look at the back and here also as you can see it's relatively cool just at around 36 to 37 yes the max i did see is 38 degrees celsius which is not hot at all it's slightly warm but uh, pretty comfortable so let's get out of this game and let's move to modern combat 5 so this is modern combat 5 a fps game and this is a paid game on the play store and the graphics are actually very good and this is a pretty resource intensive game and as you can see it's handling it uh, well without any issues i would say So far so good, haven't noticed any lagginess, but let's continue and see. And even the speaker output is uh, pretty nice. So as you can see, it's handling it pretty well, I would say. A lot of action still. No notice any drop frames. In fact, it's running this modern combat for very well, I would say. So this level is also done and it's been almost 19 minutes since we were gaming so let's uh, check the temperatures again as you can see it's not hot at all around 38 degrees celsius here on the screen and back also if you look it's just around 37 degrees celsius uh, so it's not getting hot at all i would say pretty comfortable even for extended gaming so let me just get out of this one now so what do i feel about the gaming performance on this uh, galaxy e5 as we have seen it could run casual game and even heavy games like asphalt 8 and modern combat 5 without any issues another good thing is that it does not exhibit any major heating issues even with extended gaming so that's a good thing also regarding internal storage it has 16 gigs of internal storage so i would say it's a decent device even for gaming i'll also be producing a full in-depth review for this device very soon so stay tuned to my channel thanks for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video